Wait, this is hold on, wait, hold on. Does this pertain to Castlevania? It does. The first vampire was an Egyptian goddess. Was this true? Did you know that an Egyptian goddess could be considered the first ever vampire? Her name was Sekhmet, and she was a warrior goddess who served Ra. God Sekhmet could be considered the first vampire? Isn't it always Vlad? I swear to God, it's always Vlad, bro. What is this? The first vampire could be considered Sekhmet, really. On Ra. Out of the sun. One day, Ra sent Sekhmet to Earth to slaughter any mortals that may have been conspiring against him. But after okay. Sekhmet got a taste of that sweet and savory blood of mankind, she couldn't get enough. The blood crazed really? goddess began slaughtering the mortals indiscriminately, and before long, she had almost killed all the humans in Egypt. It feels like she's just a lion. So she she's a lion, or her iconography is that of a lion-headed woman. So it feels more like she'd be a predator that's hunting prey rather than a vampire. But I guess you can I guess you could technically call it that because the prey was human and human was delicious. Ross sent out the monster and Human was the wagyu steak of the ancient gods, apparently. So he took it upon himself to stop her, which he did in hilarious fashion, by pouring red-colored alcohol into the Nile so that when Sekhmet came upon the river, it had been dyed completely red, and she mistook it for blood and started chugging. The goddess ended up drinking so much that she actually passed out, and when she woke up, she had calmed down enough to return to Ra. It's Wow. Because of this event that Sekhmet was associated with the consumption of human blood and her worshippers dyed their alcohol red to honor her. D oh. Bro, he stunted on her, yo. <laughs> Bro, he fucked her up. Really? He dyed the entire Nile red. So she just had to continuously drink that shit and then she passed out. That's funny. So she damn near drank a whole river. Just because Ra was stunning on her, bro. I can fix her Nakim bet. All right, Nakim. Cool. So you can go to your nearest Egyptian shrine, pray Sekhmet, talk to her, let her know how you feel. And then if you come back alive, or if you come back with, let's, you know, maybe you're going to be the next, um, you know, Moon Knight, Sekhmet Knight, Sekhmet Simp, right? Then, hey, bet. You know, you get some superpowers. You mean, you, you, you're still a simp? I'll be to a goddess, but still a simp. Well, that's kind of cool, though. I like how they take that concept and they say, okay, so she's a vampire, technically speaking. I like these informational shorts. They're valuable. So they're taking that concept of Castlevania and then they're applying that to what we see. Well, Castlevania Nocturne, and they're applying that in real time. That's interesting. Hmm. Because the way they made it seem with Vlad was that Vlad was so old that he had what honestly felt like it was... Technology beyond the years of mankind, even today. Again, his castle could teleport in the blink of an eye from from uh, from place to place. It was crazy. Um, but right now in Nocturne, we're not getting any of that stuff at all from the vampires. Like the vampires are kind of they're flamboyant. <laughs> they're over the top in some cases, but they're not as advanced. They're not as um, technologically and I'll even say, in terms of overall knowledge, not as gifted as someone like Vlad was.